In this video, I'm just going to go over what I've learned about how to remove the hydraulic pump in this Case 644. Well, this is what the pump looks like. It's a geared hydraulic pump. Uh, this happens to be a 1973. Uh, all in all, it took me about an hour to get it out. Uh, I didn't really see any online instructions or anything. So I'm just going to kind of go over what I learned about uh, what worked and what didn't work. So originally what I thought was I would take the steering shaft out, unbolt the gear pump, and it would pull straight out. So these are kind of the main parts of what holds this pump on. You have this housing here which secures the pump to this side. So it goes in here like this. And then this is what it looks like there inside. I have the key out of the shaft. And then this is your love joy which goes on here. And you have a Allen set screw right here that you can get to via this hole in this housing. And then this love joy ear connects to the opposite mating end that's on the engine shaft. So I needed to pull it all apart because I thought maybe uh, this pin was sheared or something because my loader wasn't working and it wasn't moving forward. But that's the basic components and how it comes apart. So as you can see, I have the steering shaft pulled up and just held in place by some vice grips so it doesn't fall back down. Now it's up to you if you want to raise your steering shaft, but it's only held on by this little uh, C-clip and then it will pull straight up. But it's, it's almost resting right on the back side of the pump. So to pull that out only takes about five minutes and it gives you more room to move around in there. So I believe you have two options. You could probably unbolt the engine and slide it forward, or I just removed the battery tray, and there's two hydraulic lines that come across right here. I removed those two, and the pump easily came out right through the top. 